Alert weather update. Hey everyone, weather forecaster Derek Overland. We had a really warm day today. Our highs into the mid and upper 80s throughout the region. It did not feel like that though. We had the feels like temperatures getting into the mid to upper 90s throughout the region. So we did have some humid conditions uh, here today. We'll look outside right now, our loose not alive camera. We're still seeing those humid conditions here. Uh, even at 10 o'clock at night here, we're still in the 80s for a lot of us. Austin and Winona, Mason City all at 80 degrees. Rochester is at 79, but notice our dew points in the low 70s throughout the region. That's really really humid, especially for this time at night. Looking at future track radar, we're seeing nothing on radar so far, just some cloud cover moving through. Notice a little cell off to our northeast that's moving into Wisconsin and fading out. Uh, we have a few of those cells trying to develop on uh, in front of the cold front, uh, but they're just not having uh, too much luck developing here. Where There's where that cold front is sitting, right off to our northwest, and that's going to continue to move into our region and spark some shots hours and storms possible for tonight and into tomorrow morning here later on. Now with those storms and with how humid we've been, we have some instability in the atmosphere for a storm outlook. We do have a chance here in some of that darker green where the scattered thunderstorms could be at, uh, where some of those storms could be on the strong side later on tonight and early tomorrow morning. So let's track out this rain chance on future track. As I mentioned before, uh, we saw a few cells try and move uh, in front or develop in front of the cold front and future tracks really buying into that. We're obviously not seeing uh, the rain currently in Mason City or towards our northeast in Wisconsin. We're not seeing any of that. But as we go into later on, we see our main chance for some rain move in right around the three, four o'clock in the morning hour tonight, early tomorrow morning, moving into I-35 with some possibly some heavy rainfall. We continue to see it into our Monday morning and then we can see some redevelopment possible for our Monday after afternoon with my, still mild temperatures. Temperatures getting into the low 80s and uh, upper 70s throughout the region. And we continue to see uh, those storms off to our northeast in Wisconsin. They move away from us and we start to see some drier conditions moving into our Tuesday. Tuesday morning, mostly clear skies in the morning, still those mild temperatures. But notice off to our west around Tuesday afternoon, that's when another round of showers and storms begins to develop and could be affecting us uh, late Tuesday evening. Now we are also looking at some more uh, uh, humid conditions moving into the beginning of our work week. Heat indices possibly in the uh, mid to upper 90s still for our Monday and Tuesday. Cooling back down on Wednesday, but we may see some more humid conditions uh, towards the end of our week. Precip forecast here looking ahead. We do have that isolated chance on our Monday. Tuesday, uh, at that evening chance isolated there and isolated for our Wednesday straight chance. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, rainfall forecast. This is the next five days. So through Friday, we we may see rain right around two to three inches possible, especially off to our north in the Twin Cities. They're expecting a lot of rainfall from a lot of these systems. Tonight's forecast, showers and storms late tonight. Southwest winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures staying mild in the 70s and 60s. Tomorrow's forecast, we'll see showers and storms. South winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts reaching 30 miles per hour at times. So another windy day uh, for tomorrow. And our 10-day forecast at 10 here. Thunderstorms on Monday. Some more thunderstorms storms on Tuesday and that continues on all the way until Saturday and then Sunday we finally start to dry out with partly cloudy skies with temperatures fluctuating anywhere from the 80s to the 70s by mid this week. Charles.